Hi, this is Reverend Angela, and I have a scripture verse for you this day. I'm reading to you from Haggai, he's a lesser prophet, and I'm reading Haggai chapter 1, verses 12 to 13. Then Zerubbabel and Joshua and all the people who had returned from exile in Babylonia did what the Lord their God told them to do. They were afraid and obeyed the prophet Haggai, the Lord's messenger. Then Haggai gave the Lord's message to the people, I will be with you. That is my promise. In the book that I've written, A Reflection a Day, this is what I wrote for today, July 6th. God's message then and now is the same. God is with us. Do you think this message is directly related to obedience and reverence? Wanting you to think for a moment um, how important it is to God that we follow God's word and that we worship God in spirit and in truth. You can tell from my shirt that I'm from the Bahamas and that I'm very proud to be a Bahamian. And this is our national flag. So you can see the beautiful colors. You can see what they represent. And there's the energy of the people. There is the beauty of our sunshine and our turquoise water. And there is a sense of who we are being out there for the world to see. I want you to think in terms of what your witness is. We talk about having ambassadors all the time. And they are people that represent our country elsewhere. And they attend functions, they give talks, they um, have diplomatic relations, they make decisions and they are present for treaties and other things that are important to us as a people. I want you really to think about being an ambassador for the kingdom of God, what it is to be a citizen of that kingdom what it is to represent God in everything you've ever said and done and everything you will ever say and do. And of course, everything that you do today, how to look at your actions, how to look at your attitude, how to look at what you say and even how you feel and run it by God's Holy Spirit. And so I pray that God will be as proud of you as we would be desirous for God to find us faithful when the Lord returns. And so I encourage you to be proud of where you're from and to wear your colors well, but to remember that there is so much more to life than what we are experiencing in the here and now. And you want to make sure that you represent your other country even more um, faithfully and that other country is the whole world as we know it, but the world that will be redeemed, that will be transformed, ambassadors of a kingdom. We know who the king is. We really don't know where the kingdom is, except wherever our king is, there is the kingdom. I believe that it's an honor to be chosen to be a citizen of that kingdom, and we're all eligible. I trust and pray that you will spend time, taking time to look at the passport that God has given you and to recognize that the door to the kingdom is open. We just go through the Lord. God bless you.